Okay, so I realized that I actually don't have a foundation routine or an updated foundation routine, like a standalone foundation routine on my page. So today we're gonna do a flawless glowy. Doesn't have to be glow if you don't want it to, but it's gonna be flawless nonetheless foundation routine and i'm going to show you guys all the products that i use and all the tools that i use to achieve this look so if you want to see which products i use and also which tools i use to achieve this look then keep on watching hi guys my name is ohima bonsu if you're new to my channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking to watch this video <laughs> so if you are a returning subscriber you're gonna notice that my set looks a little brighter i'm just experimenting with my lights for now so let me know down below in the comments how you like this setup let me know if you can see better i just wasn't liking the way certain things were were red so let me know down below what you think okay and before i start talking too much let's jump into the video okay guys so i'm gonna start off with the tatcha water cream because my skin has been feeling dry lately so i like to add a little bit more moisture to my skin before i start my makeup routine so i just applied that all over my face massaged it in and waited for it to absorb fully going in with the elf putty primer it is a beautiful primer and it is also a dupe for the uh, for the tatcha silk canvas so if you don't have the silk canvas and you want to try the, the poreless putty definitely go for it there's been like a million and one reviews on it and i also have a review on this primer i will link it down below so you can check it out Next, I'm going in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is an absolute favorite primer of mine, and it holds onto your makeup all day long, okay? I also have a video on this primer. I will link that down below. I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. This is the shade Espresso, and I'm applying that onto my face. I like this foundation because it matches my undertone and my tone perfectly and also balances the shades between my neck and my face beautifully okay i'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with the colored rain sponge using my code with colored rain helps support my channel and keeps me making videos for you guys okay so consider using my code when you order from colored rain so i'm blending this foundation in and you know just making sure that i cover my skin and this is what the match looks like you can see it balances between my chest and my face beautifully and it's not a red foundation it's a beautiful finish and it matches so beautifully i love it i think i've used the word beautiful a whole lot <laughs> i've said beautiful a lot describing this foundation right i have and it actually really is a really good a really beautiful foundation and that's on period next i'm going in with the Too Faced born this way concealer i'm using the shade coco but there's also a shade sable and ganache this concealer is beautiful it blends out very easily and it covers a lot so if you don't want to make a mistake use the shade that's like one shade lighter than you can than your foundation if you go two shades light and you use too much it will take over your makeup look i went ahead and i blended it in again with the colored rain sponge This hormonal acne man it's just like taking over my life <laughs> it's taking me so long to try to get rid of them right now it's just irking me okay i don't like it so i'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with the benign nutmeg powder powder i do have a video on setting powders that i've tried and also on the benign powders i will link those pow those videos down below in the description box so you can see it that way you can pick the best powder for you but for me nutmeg matches very closely to my chest shade and it also helps me set my face without it looking too ashy and also just helps everything balance out beautifully after i applied my setting powder i went ahead and just patted that sponge all over my face and then i applied some of the powder to my brows so it can keep my brows matte before i go ahead and fill in my brows because my neck and my chest shade are different i i like to go in with the powder and apply that to my neck to sort of balance 
out the two shades i don't apply foundation like on my neck because i feel like it would be too much um on my neck next i'm going in with a koi Boca contour stick and this is the shade icon icon is very deep it's very beautiful and i love it i have the powder form of it I am now going to go in with the Sephora Pro Face Palette in the shade Deep. I'm taking this shade and I'm going to use that as my blush. It is a very beautiful shade. It's very pigmented. This whole palette is beautiful. And if you are someone who is, who is on the fence about this palette, I think you should go ahead and get it. I will be doing a video on the palette so we can see exactly how it performs. Next, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP, and this is the shade Deep Black. This is like my second pencil already. I was going through soft black and deep black like crazy. So I go in and fill in my brows, and I do have a brow tutorial using the Fenty Brow Pencil. It's the same routine that I use on my brows with any brow product, so I will link that down below in the comments so you can see it. So today I decided to go in with a yellow powder. This is more like a terracotta powder. It's a very deep yellow powder. I wanted to see what it would do under my eyes. I wanted to give my under eyes just a little bit more brightness. This is the one from Makeup Revolution. I will put the exact name of the powder down below so you can see it. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and this is the shade deep chocolate and i'm using deep chocolate to clean up my brows so when i clean up my brows i also go ahead and blend it towards my eyelids that way whenever i prep my eyelids there's no shade uh there's no contrast in the shade so that both my eyelid shade and my brow shade blend beautifully in together Okay, so this is my brows are done. This is what that looks like, and I am actually really loving it. I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel, and I'm just using it to pick up what tiny little brows I have, just to get them to stay up and make it look like, you know, the whole thing is my brow hairs and not that I drew them on. So I like using that. I'm going in with the Mini Fenty Beauty Pro Eye Shadow Primer, and I'm applying that all over my eyelids and I like to blend my eyeshadow primers in with my finger. So after I blend that in, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Camel Concealer and this is the shade Deep Cocoa, okay? There's deep chocolate and, the, and there's deep cocoa. This is deep cocoa. So I apply a little bit of the deep cocoa on my eyelids and I blended it in with a Sigma brush. I like using this brush to blend out my bases because it's big, it fans out very beautifully. After I blended out my base, I went ahead and put the same concealer directly on my under eyes because I wanted it to be a little bit more brighter than what it was looking like. So I applied some of that and blended it in very carefully. And then I went in with some of my setting powder and, and that brush that came in that Morphe surprise box. I will put the exact name of the brush down below. So after I set my eyelids, I'm going in with the Juno Babe brush set and I'm using that to contour my nose. There is a brush in the brush sets that is very flat and small enough that I feel like it's the perfect brush to contour my nose with. So that's the one that I'm using.
went in and set my face with the elf matte setting spray now i'm gonna go ahead and essentially cut my contour it's an act that helps you define your contour you don't have to do it i like doing this because it helps me separate between my contour and my jawline and it also makes my jawline pop even more than it already does you know what i mean like it has to it has to pop okay then i'm going into the sephora pro face palette and i'm taking that highlighter and i'm applying that all over my face so as i was applying the highlighter i realized that my eyelids were a little too matte so i went in and applied some of the highlighter on my eyelids just to give it a tiny bit of a shimmer like i have something going on but i'm not really i don't really have anything going on it's just to give me like you know a little bit of something something you know just a little bit of something something Now I'm applying some of the highlighter with my small Sigma brush. I will put the exact brush for the brow bone down below so you can see it. But I'm applying that directly below my brow so that it gives my brow a highlight. I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara just to, you know, make my lashes look alive. And I apply the same highlighter in my inner corner, you know, to just make everything more glowy, okay? Now at this point, if you don't want to put eyelashes on or just line your eyes you can go ahead and apply your lip shade and you have a completed look that you can literally just stunt on everybody with okay just kill everybody with it but i wanted to line my eyes so i went in with the ColourPop bff liner and this is the shade numero uno now this color pop liner is felt tip and in my opinion it's like the best felt tip liner of 2019 for the price so if you haven't yet tried it definitely go ahead and try it now while i was lining my eyes i did make a mistake and you can see so i took some of my settings my setting powder and i used that directly over the mistake i had made and that erased it but you have to do it like as soon as the mistake happens so that the liquid liner can grab onto the powder and fix the mistake i'm going in with the lip gloss that comes in the colored rain power collection and i'm applying that all over my lip okay you guys so this is a finished look if you don't want to apply lashes this is also another finished look option okay now i want lashes okay i want lashes and i am just like <laughs> dying about these lashes so these are the bonsu beauty trio lashes and this is the collection flutter so i took one of those lashes and i applied it to my eyes So this is the finished look let me know down below in the comments what you think so yeah let me know down below in the comments what you think about our routine let me know if you want any specific like step in detail then i will just go ahead and make a video just on that step and i already have an eyeliner video on my eye so i'm gonna link that down below so you can click on that and watch it i can do and I also have a brow video already from the Fenty video. I will also link that down below. That's exactly how I do my brows like 
every time but in that video i didn't have any foundation on so it's gonna look a little different of course in this video i have foundation on so my brows will look different but the process of get, achieving the brow is the same okay so that's it for this video let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions if you have any thoughts i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye